Hello out there in Facebook land. It is two o'clock on Tuesday afternoon in Markham, Ontario, Canada. So thank you for joining in every Tuesday at 2 p.m. I like to do a little Facebook Live, share a little stamping with you, share some announcements in the Stampin' for Fun world. So I'm just so excited that you are able to join on if you can. Um, last week was my first time trying to just sort of have a setup here and not uh, kind of do the flip from, from uh, kind of looking at my face and then flipping on to the stamping um, table. So I'm just trying it again. I know some of you mentioned that you'd like to see my face um, beforehand, but I'm just wondering whether if I set it up this way, it just makes everything run a little smoother for me. So I just thought I'd try it again. I'm also trying a new setup to see if the, it makes the shadows a little less... Um, intense. I know in the past I've sort of always had a shadow with the way my mount was positioned. So I don't know if it's better or not, but I would love to hear what you guys think. Oh great. Hi Maureen. Maureen is on. I think Joy hopped on. It's great to connect with you guys because um, I don't always get to see you that often. So and anybody who it's your first time joining in, don't be shy. We'd like to comment on here. So just type in a comment, say hi to me. Any comments will be entered into a drawing. Anybody who comments will be entered into a drawing just for a little little Stampin' for Fun prize. So while we're waiting for everyone to join in, I thought I'd go through a few announcements and then we'll do some stamping. Um, I don't know how everybody's weather is outside, but our weather is gorgeous, so I already went for a walk today. I'm hoping I might be able to sneak out for one later on too. How is the weather out there in Newfoundland, you guys? Judy and Maureen. <laughs> um, I heard it was kind of chilly. I'm going to be coming to uh, visit you guys in Newfoundland just next week. So it'll be nice if I bring the warm weather with me, right? It's pretty warm up here. Okay, so let's do a few announcements. Um, so my Stampin' for Fun paper share is still going on. Um, so you will get 144 sheets of the new designer series paper. Um, it will be cut in six by six size and it's just $70. So this is just a reminder, the deadline for registering is this Saturday, June the 15th. Um, so it's not too far away, it's just a few days left. So all you have to do to register for the paper share is just go, go to stampinforfunpapershare.eventbrite.ca and you can register there and I'll be in contact about payment and then I'll order up the paper, cut it up and um, have it ready for pickup or ship to you if you prefer. Oh good, hi Donna. I'm glad you popped in. Okay, so that's one announcement I wanted to make because the registration deadline is fast coming up. It's just a great way to get all of the designer series papers at a fraction of the price of buying all the full packs. So if you're interested in that, um, just register or let me know. Okay, so people are still joining in. We'll keep doing announcements, but if you just joined in, don't be shy to comment, say hi. Okay, the next thing coming up is the Daisy Lane class. Um, so it's funny, this morning, hi Nadine, this morning I um, just did a little presentation for demonstrators, Facebook Live for demonstrators. Stampin' Up! had asked me to share a little bit about um, my Daisy Lane class, how I run it, and how I price it, all that sort of thing. So it's funny, I feel like I've been talking Daisy Lane all day. Um, but I am excited for this class. Uh, this class can be taken in person in Markham on June the 26th, or it can be taken to go. So if you can't attend the class, you can still register for the class and I will cut and prep everything for you. Um, and just either mail you the supplies or you can pick it up. The great thing about this class is that it includes the Daisy Lane stamp set. So this is the brand new stamp set um, from the new annual catalog. And uh, the great thing about it is it's bundled with a small, uh, I don't think they call it a small Daisy Punch, it's a medium Daisy Punch. So we already have the large one, here's the medium one. Um, it's also got some neat other images and words. So this is a great, uh, versatile stamp set. Um, let me show you what we're going to make in the class. Even if you take it long distance, I'll still mail you all the packages so that you can still have fun stamping. 
Okay, I'm not sure if this light is better or worse for shadows. Anyway, so here's some of the samples that we'll make in the class. Okay, so it's just kind of fun. Um, and in the class, sorry, I don't know if I said you get to make eight cards, two of each design. Um, so it's a great value, I think, for only $47 to get the stamp set and the supplies for the eight cards. And uh, if you're doing the Take It To Go, you just use your own ink to finish up at home because I will send you the embellishments and the cardstock. Okay, so the deadline to register for this, sorry, I think I had mistakenly said it was the 15th, but it's actually the 12th. So tomorrow, June the 12th, is the last day to register for this. Um, and then that's it, okay? So um, last chance on the Daisy Lane class. Okay, if you're still joining in, don't be afraid to comment because uh, people who comment will be entered into a drawing for a little prize. Okay, so next up on the announcement list is um, Christmas in July. So uh, just to tell you a little bit about what's been going on in my life, July is going to be a super, super busy month for me. I will be gone starting July the 4th until something like the 17th on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip. Greek Isles, I'll be extending a little bit, doing some time in Italy. Um, so I'm super excited about that and super excited that my husband can come. Um, and I... Um, and bringing my oldest son to spend some time with him before he moves out for university. So um, that means my July is busy with that. And then at the end of July, the last week of July, beginning of August, I've decided to do a service uh, missions trip up in Thunder Bay. So that makes my July really jam-packed. I'll be home for a week from the incentive trip before I take off to Thunder Bay. So I thought I would stick everything, everything, my usual monthly classes are all gonna happen on one date. It's gonna be July the 20th. So um, actually I shouldn't say all my monthly classes. My technique class is still at the beginning of July. I just moved it to the first Tuesday instead of the first Monday. But my sweet and simple class, instead of running on the last Wednesday, will run on the Saturday, July 20th. Um, and I'm also doing a Stamp-A-Stack that day too, if you would like to participate. Um, it's the Lots of Cheer stamp set. Is that your birthday? Yay! So I'll remember to wish you happy birthday on the day that I'm doing my Christmas in July, um, Super Saturday. Um, so everybody who signs up for the um, Stamp-A-Stack will receive the Lots of Cheer stamp set and make eight cards using that stamp set. So uh, it's $42. Uh, to participate in that and as well it's not on this little card um, but on Saturday July 20th I am doing a sort of all-day crafting retreat so um, you can just bring your stuff if you're local and just um, enjoy sort of a, it's like a crop but you don't have to be you don't have to be a scrapbooker right you can come and do whatever craft your heart desires I'm trying to see if the shadows better or worse with this light I don't know. You guys let me let me know. So uh, those three things are happening on July 20th. So an all day ladies crafting day, um, the sweet and simple card class, and then the eight card stamp a stack with the lots of cheer. So you can choose one, you can choose two, you can choose three. Um, and the only one that works for long distance would be the lots of cheer one if you're long distance and can't make it local. Okay, so that's happening on July 20th. And last but not least, the deadline for the summer stamping with Jen and Julie. Oh, I have a bigger flyer here. Okay, the summer stamping with Jen and Julie um, is a completely online class, so there's no in-person component and there is no time that you absolutely have to be online to enjoy the resources. The deadline for registering for this is also this Saturday, uh, June the 15th. So um, if you have been waiting and you're not sure, I encourage you to get on board. We've had several people register already because this is like a jumbo online class. You're going to get 16 projects delivered to you. Um, they're going to be representing four suites from the annual catalog. The four suites will be Magnolia Lane, uh, Come Sail Away, um, Bird Ballad, and Woven Threads. So you're going to get 
16 projects, you're not just going to get the cardstock and embellishment pieces you need to complete the projects, but you're also going to get the PDF tutorials, you're going to get videos, you're going to get uh, a goodie bag um, valued at $25. So this is uh, for Canadians. If you want to register and you're from the U.S. and you're checking out my Facebook Live, um, just go to Julie Davison's blog. Uh, she'll have the information there for you. Okay, so Julie and I, Julie's a demonstrator in the U.S., we're partnering together to bring you this summer stamping class to keep your, your stampin' mojo up <laughs> over the summer. The other great thing is if you are a demonstrator, um, we are going to take our 25 plus years experience and share some of it with you. Um, so if it, 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 I think it's going to be four training videos. Yeah, four demonstrator training videos to help you in your stamping business if you choose to add that on. You don't have to add it on, but if you want to add it on, you can. It is um, only $20 to add it on to get those four videos. Um, and those of you, oh, I see Lorraine and Maureen are on. Those of you that are Team Stick, there is a 50% discount on the training add-on. So it's just $10 for you guys. Okay, so the deadline to register for that is this Saturday. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. I had some people message me with questions because they weren't sure. Um, so I wanna just reassure you, there's absolutely no in-person component to this. So you will get to do everything on your own time, at your own pace. Yes, you will need your own stamps and ink and adhesive, um, but the rest of the supplies will be included in the packet for you. Okay, so I hope that explains that class clearly. I know it's hard when we're trying something new, you're not quite sure how it all works. Okay, so who's ready to see some stamping? Don't be afraid to comment if you're just joining in. And of course, all the products that I use, you can view them on my website, genevieve.stampinup.net. And when you're shopping this month, make sure to use the host code here uh, because this host code will alert me that um, when your order is uh, $40 or more, you will get emailed three stamping tutorials. So it's just an extra bonus and thank you for using the host code. Um, and so that host code will be open till the end of the month, June the 26th, I believe. Okay, what does that mean, Judy? I just saw you type me. Me, me what? You might have to tell me. You would like the summer stamping class or I'm not sure. So just clarify that, but let's do a little stamping now. What's happening this weekend? Father's Day is happening this weekend. Um, and at our church, we celebrate fathers, but we also, we actually have a celebration of men going on um, so this weekend. So, oh, you're ready for stamping. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, good, good, good. Yes, I forgot. Who's ready for stamping? Me. Okay, so um, this stamp set, I'm going to use this new stamp set from the catalog. It's called A Good Man. And... Um, it's a great set, not just for Father's Day, but to celebrate the men in your life. Uh, and I thought, I thought I would use it because Father's Day is this weekend and maybe I should make a card. So you guys are all going to get to see the card I'm going to make. My husband, I bought this set because uh, it actually does remind me of my husband, these two images. He's always been fantastic with our kids. He's He hasn't been... Uh, He's a very hands-on kind of dad, and especially with my daughter. This actually, I didn't use this stamp today, but this stamp reminds me so much of my husband and my daughter. She's 14 years old, and she still cuddles with him like she was a baby. Um, he, She really is daddy's little girl there, so that, that really reminds me of him. But um, all our kids, he's always been... Um, you know, playing with them, carrying them, roughhousing with them. Um, so it's it's good. So that's what made me want to purchase this stamp set. But you may have other reasons. A lot of times we forget to get stamps for the men in our lives. So I just thought I'd show you a sample using this uh, stamp set. So why don't we get started? I am going to use um, a piece of the Sahara Sand cardstock. Okay, so Sahara Sand, and uh, as usual, we're using our 8.5 by 11 sheet of cardstock, and we're going to cut it in half, okay, at the 5.5 inch mark. So we'll put our trimmer down here, and go right to 5.5. 
Okay, and then uh, to make our card, we'll just score it at the four and a quarter mark. So this is a very normal process for card making. And then the next um, piece we're going to use is a piece of designer series paper. This is from the Come Sail Away bundle. Um, so it's called the Come Sail Away designer series paper. So this is one side, this is the other side. There's this designer series paper is fantastic for masculine cards or um, I know it has a bit of a nautical theme, um, but hopefully you can kind of see there some different patterns. So it's great for, for the men and boys in your life, but it doesn't have to be just for men and boys. So that's the good thing about it. So if you want a flavor of that paper, don't forget to enter, uh, to register for my paper share. Okay. So this is going to be four inches by five and a quarter inches. So let's get that on. I decided to have the lines going vertically. Um, and we'll stick that down with some snail. Well, oh, the snail is out. Let's see whether we can use this one. See how this one's going. Okay, so we will stick that on and that'll be sort of the base of our card here. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. And then what I'm gonna use, I decided to use our shimmery white paper for this card. Um, so a lot of time in cards for men, I don't tend to use a lot of bling or anything, but the white just seemed so stark. And I thought, you know what? The shimmery white might be just our, just our answer. So let's try that. Um, I'm just gonna cut it. So because we are gonna run it through the big shot. So I want to make it a little smaller to run it through the big shot. Um, so I'm using the image that I'm using is this one here. I forgot to put my stickers on, but it's this one with uh, the little boy on the man's shoulders. I'm going to use the Memento ink. Hi, I think I saw Wanda pop in. Um, I think it might be your first time on a Facebook Live, so don't be afraid to comment because anyone commenting will get entered into a drawing. Okay, so we'll just stamp that image using the memento ink black ink okay so you can see the stamp has kind of a line image to it and we are going to um, just color it up so let's color it um, I kind of pondered what to use to color uh, and I was thinking I would use sort of the light night of navy and do the jeans here. So I decided to go with the blends. I could have used pencil crayons and water. This this is just screaming for a watercolor effect, but I didn't know if I wanted to go with sort of softer watercolor. So I decided to go with the blends and you tell me what you think. Maybe I should try next week trying uh, more of a softer watercolor look. So the thing I like about the blends is you don't have to be an artist. You don't have to be an artist to use them. You can be an artist and get really fancy with the blends if you want, but you don't have to because it gives such a smooth finish when you're coloring. Because they're alcohol based, it just makes it really smooth and easy. If you wanted to kind of do some shading, you can just go over it in certain parts. Okay, so I just like to use the artwork that Stampin' Up! has and I can just go over it and give a little bit of shading there. Okay, so these markers are fantastic. They're only $6 each um, and uh, they're just so easy to use. So I'm using the dark soft sea foam for the shirt. Okay, and again, I'm not doing anything fancy. I like to use a circular motion because I find that that helps with the blending of the colors a bit. Okay, and again, if I want to do extra shading, I can, but I don't have to. Okay, and then, so we'll go with the skin tone. They've got an ivory blend, so that makes it easy to kind of choose. Oh, oh, I went outside the lines there, oh well. Not a crisis. Sometimes with the blends, when they're really juicy, you actually want to stop a little bit before the line because it sometimes bleeds a little bit. And for the little boy, I thought a bright yellow, yellow shirt would be fun. 
So just a little bit of color. So you don't have to be an artist to, to enjoy the blends markers at all. So I, I thought I'd make the boys jeans kind of a dark pool party here. I'm really kind of going outside the lines today, but anyway, okay. Okay. So there we go. Let's finish. There's a tiny bit on this boy's face here. So maybe I'll use the, the more blunt tip and just give a little bit of color on his face. And we'll do his hair in, in dark crumb cake. So I love all the different shading that's there for the blends. You can really get all sorts of different color combinations. Okay, so just like that, we've colored up our, our image there. I'm going to cut it out using uh, the rectangle stitched framelits. So if you don't have the rectangle stitched framelits, I would highly encourage that you purchase them. You can just head to my online store at genevieve.stampinup.net because look at all the sizes that are included with these framelits. So many different sizes of rectangles. I'm going to kind of use this, this medium sized one. Oh, I will stamp a little sentiment, so I'll probably cut it out with this one. Okay, so I'll, let me move this out of the way and then uh, let me stamp the sentiment so that we can kind of cut both at the same time. I'm going to use the sentiment that says, you do a great job of being a great guy. So let's, let's stamp that there. Okay, great. So we've got that. Always close the lid so you don't stick your elbow in it. And let's cut this baby out. Okay. So we'll put this on here. Yes, my blends markers are very juicy right now. So they, and I probably didn't let the ink dry enough. So it is bleeding a little bit, but hopefully you still get the idea. Okay, and that little rectangle is just right for that sentiment, just right. So we can't sneeze when we put this on and we'll roll it through. Okay. I love that creaking sound when you roll the big shot. It makes you feel like you're really cutting something. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay, so let me show you. Oh, I might have cut a bit of the words off, but you get the idea. Ooh, I don't know. That was kind of a lot of cut off. Let's see whether we can stamp the other side. And then, but I want to show you, I love the stitching on these rectangle framelits. You've got the stitching on this side, but if you wanted to, you could actually use this outline because there's stitching on this side too. So it's kind of double value with those stitched framelits. Okay, let me see. I don't know whether I can fix the words, but we'll try. Um, it's not a photopolymer stamp set. Do you guys ever have that issue, just trying to stamp just perfectly? Oh, not bad. Maybe that's a little better. Okay. So let's close this up. Now I'm going to show you something that I enjoy doing here and there. Sometimes I forget about doing this, and then when I do it, I'm like, ah. Oh, I forgot I loved this so much. So you can actually just take, I don't know which side is better, the blunt tip or the, and you can just kind of outline it a bit. Again, I like to do circular motions so that it just highlights the image and it gives it that feeling of kind of being part of, that they're outside, part of the world out there. Okay, can you kind of see what's happening there? I'm just doing a bit of an outline. So while I'm coloring, why don't we chat a little bit? Tell me what's going on with you. What have you been stamping? I know I'm a little late to be stamping Father's Day, but hey, it's only Tuesday and Father's Day is until Sunday, so I'm okay. <laughs> I was, uh, what I hope to do tomorrow is do some scrapbooking because I have my children's grad photos. My son is uh, graduating from high school, my daughter from elementary school. So I was going to do some of that. Okay, so can you kind of see how I'm 
So I'm using the light pool party here and I'm just kind of going around and giving a bit of highlighting to the image. Okay, I don't know if I really centered this guy too well, but you get the idea. You can make it wider or less wide. It's up to you. Okay. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Maureen. Yeah, I some things you kind of forget to do until you until you remember to do that. And when I had stamped this image, I was just going to carry on. And then I looked at it and I thought, you know what? It's just the way that the lines are here are so soft and so sweet. And I thought, you know what? Maybe if I outline this a bit, it just adds to the sweetness of the whole image. Okay. Can you see that? What do you guys think? I love it. I love it. Okay. So let me put these dies away before I... So are you curious what the rest of the card's going to look like? <laughs> so am I. Okay, so we've got this, we've got this, we've got this. And I think all we need is just maybe a little mat here. So to keep it a little bit interesting, I thought I would... Uh, I had it already, the piece here. Um, but it's okay, we're going to use the mossy meadow. Maybe I put it back in here. Oh, I'm glad you love it, Judy. So if you joined in and you're being silent and you're just lurking, we love to know that you're out there. So I'm actually going to cut it out with the match with the same rectangle thinlet because then um, the stitching can carry over. So I'm cutting the mossy meadow. Um, it's fantastic that Stampin' Up! is so awesome about making sure the colors coordinate. So let me just roll this out really quickly. Um, and then we can finish up the card. So let me roll that out through the big shot. Oh, sorry, I should have put the big shot under the camera for you, but that's okay. You saw me roll it before. Okay, and so the, there we go. We've got our nice little stitched framelit. Uh, but I don't know if I mentioned I kept it exactly the same size. So I spent five minutes deciding, do I want it like this? Do I want it like this? And in the end, I settled on just having it like this. <laughs> okay, so we'll just put some snail on the back there. Um, and this is just a little bit on, the, on an angle there. Okay, so I'll hold this up so you can see what I'm doing there. So the white piece is still going to kind of be centered. The mossy meadow piece I just put on an angle to give some color and interest. So why don't I use dimensionals for that and pop it up a little bit. Okay, did I get dimensional there? Okay, you can never have too many dimensionals. You think you have enough and then you turn around and you've run out. It was funny, this weekend at stamp camp, one of the ladies, I was watching her stamp and I said, oh, I'm going to call you the dimensional queen. Oh, I think I saw Donna hop on in the beginning. Donna Lee, I think it's your friend, Jan. She's the one, right? She's the like dimensional queen. So for something like this, her friend would like cover the whole thing with dimensionals. Um, so I, I don't feel the need to do that, but she really likes to because then she says it never kind of buckles underneath, so which is true. Okay, and we can just, since we're kind of going a little bit funky on an angle, we can put that up there. Okay, so that, you're not late. I just got thinking about it. I know, Father's Day, right? It's like, whoa, here it is. No, I have a big plan. The plan started, I don't know if uh, team member Chris Carmichael is on right now but anyway it was Chris that told me about the idea she had made um, a Father's Day gift for her husband that had photographs of him with the kids in a scrapbook and I was like oh, I totally need to do that because my husband's so good with the kids so last week I had spent time just going through my phone going through some old scrapbooks and taking pictures of the the photos and so I got them printed so I feel like I'm not too behind because I thought about what I'm going to do, but this week on Wednesday, I try to take Wednesdays off. I'm going to, um, isn't that great? On my non-working days, I get to do what I do for my work. But anyway, I get to scrapbook. So I'm hoping to scrapbook um, just a little mini album for him. And uh, now I've got the card to go with the album. Okay, so I hope you guys 
enjoyed the stamping today. I hope it inspired you. And don't forget anything you need. You can feel free to shop on my online store, Genevieve.stampinup.net. Here is the host code to use so that you make sure um, I send you those three card making tutorials as a thank you gift. Okay, so thanks for joining in and uh, we will speak with you, uh, see you again next week. Tuesday at 2, I'll be here. And uh, and as well, um, you can always stay in touch, okay? Even if you're watching the um, recording later on, don't be afraid to comment so that you can be entered in the drawing. Thanks for joining in. Bye.